Prior to 1905, people believed that the speed of light could change depending on your frame of reference. For example, if you were to move at 99% of the speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the 8, then light from your perspective would seem that it's only moving 1% of its original speed. But along came a little known physicist by the name of Albert Einstein who said this was not the case. He stated that the light was a constant and space and time, now known as space-time, adjusted to fit this constant. For example, if you were moving once again at 99% of the speed of light, light would still pass you as if it was moving at full speed. This is because time is slowing down and space is contracting relative to an object at rest in the direction of motion. So no matter how you look at it, light is always moving at just that, light. This means that light is the ultimate cosmic speed limit because if you were able to go faster than speed of light, time and space would become negative and we know that that's just not possible. This is described by Einstein's equation for time dilation and length contraction. Now you may ask yourself, why doesn't time slow for me as I move? Well it does. If you were to ride the International Space Station for a year, then you would be a hundredth of a second younger than someone who remained on Earth during this time.